Family and friends say all there is, sadness, as they wait to hear the fate of the man who drove a stolen van into this Honda, killing 26-year-old Sara Atayi. It's very emotional. It's devastating. It's torture. It's, it's all over again. Robert Clifford Smith has been found guilty of criminal negligence causing death and five counts of causing bodily harm. February 2010, police answered a call in Scarborough following a rash of break and enters. Smith was trying to elude police. He was speeding, traveling into oncoming traffic while running a red light. His van broadsided Atayi's car. Her sister-in-law, niece and family friend were with her. Why are we putting innocent people at risk here? for something so minor. The family has launched a civil suit against police, blaming them for not calling off a dangerous pursuit. The officers were all that were involved in the pursuit. Uh, the Special Investigations Unit conducted their inves investigation. Uh, no charges were laid. I'm sure that place where they got robbed had insurance. They got the license plates. They could have found him. The Crown is asking for a life sentence, which is very unusual for a charge of criminal negligence causing death. And that's because of Smith's criminal record. Close to 200 previous convictions, mostly break and enters, but he also has a history of running away from police. There's no justice. There's no bringing her back. Nothing will ever take that pain and that void away. The impact of a tragedy that's also being felt by police. I'll never forget this case. I was there as soon as it happened. I. I, uh, I had to live it, and I have to live with it as well. Smith's lawyer is alleging police brutality. He will be sentenced in the coming days. Lama Nicola, Global News.